Hi, welcome to the Model 3 Frunk Exploration. You can see we've already pulled the frunk tub and liner. And the plastic surround came out as one piece. We've got a combination glycol radiator and then behind it the AC condenser in this about 40 degree tilted plastic assembly. There is a uh, louver controller there. And then the air comes out the back where there appears to be one electric fan. There's our power steering rack. It's got two high current DC inputs and I believe two uh, motor controllers for fault tolerance. If one fails, the other one can take over, making this car fully redundant for self-driving. They've integrated the glycol tank and um, two pumps, one there, one there, and it looks like a valve on the bottom, all in one unit, and the uh, refrigerant to glycol heat exchangers here hanging off the side. That black thing on top is the valve controlling the refrigerator. We got a pressure transducer there on the low side. Actually, is it the low side? Yeah. Um, goes down the AC compressors here. It looks like it's mounted on this cross member with rubber mounts. They've really done a job on the mounts. It's uh, it's nice and soft in there. They've got an injection molding, injection molded uh, plastic housing snapped around it. I would guess that's lined with uh, acoustic foam or something. They really wanted to make that quiet. Um, there's the uh, glycol fill. We've got a little 12 volt battery. Um, Rated at 45 amp hours. The ABS uh, block is there. Looks very similar to ESP2 on the Model S. But we don't have an eye booster. There is an assembly here. Let me see if I can get a light. So there appears to be a big electric motor back there um, off to the side. It's got a Bosch logo on it. Um, so it's probably some sort of electromechanical brake booster, um, similar to iBoost, but looks like a conventional master cylinder with two lines hooked to it. Back there is the windshield wiper motor, and the first responder loop is part of the wiring harness up here, so if it gets cut, you either have to splice it or replace the whole harness. Um, at first I thought this uh, silver box behind the battery was the DC to DC, but it is not. There's no high voltage going in there. I think this is the front power distribution and body controller. Um, there are no fuses in the Model S, so everything is solid state. So there's some high current wires that come out of here. Um, it probably also monitors the battery charge current. There is no IBS as in the Model S. And uh, that is distributed to the rest of the car. Um, what else? There appears to be no cabin filter. I can see right into the air door anyway, at least it's not here. You can see the two glycol lines going into the air-cooled combination MCU and autopilot ECU. The main wiring harness entry is up under there too. I um, doubt you can see it. The phone's too big. Um, let's see what else. Here's a big hollow area. <laughs> um, this is two-wheel drive, obviously. Um, so this is where the front motor would go if this was an all-wheel drive. Cavernous space. Could put a small child in here. You can see the two uh, high voltage connections coming out of the pack. One is for cabin heat and the other one is for the AC compressor. The DC to DC is integrated in the penthouse uh, under the rear seat, which is part of the battery. And looks like the crash structure, the box here, is unboltable, um, which is nice. So if there's a crash and it doesn't damage the rest of the structure, you can unbolt that and put a new one in. Repairability. Let's see. 
magnet, that's steel. All this is steel, but that crash box is aluminum. Magnet does not stick to it. Steel, steel, fender steel. What is aluminum? Um, obviously the front is plastic. <coughs> Let's see. Steel, door is aluminum. Door is aluminum. Rear quarter is steel. Back hatch is steel. Roof is steel. <clears throat> and I guess, um, yeah, we've got a breather for the battery, and that vents out. Interesting. So I would imagine that is not a fully sealed, like an AGM type, it, or it probably is an AGM. It might just be a wet type, I don't know, but it's not sealed. Um, what else? I guess that's about it. Goodbye.